fighter planes on Whidbey Island is getting far too loud for a lot of angry people. They say noise from new Navy jets has become intolerable over the past year. But others contend freedom isn't free or quiet. Here's King 5's Eric Wilkinson. It's the solitude that lured Michael and Judy Monson to Coopville from Seattle. He uses that um, adhesive. He doesn't use glue. While they knew the birds in their backyard would share the skies with noisy Navy jets, they never thought they'd resort to this to find some peace and quiet. My, my wife and I both are forced to wear earmuffs inside our house. Here's why. Michael measures the noise level of a plane at 89 decibels about the same as a truck rumbling through his living room at 9 o'clock at night. The jets train year-round in this nearby airfield, three hours a day, sometimes well past mid <laughs> Neighbors say the Navy's own numbers show nearly four times as many flights now, almost 10,000 per year, than back in 2005. And increasingly, the planes are EA-18 growlers, which fly lower. Hundreds from the community have complained. Some want the airfield closed. If we had known in 2003... They were going to bring these monsters in. Hey, you know, would we have moved here? Absolutely not. If you buy a house out here in Coopville, you actually have to sign a document stating that you acknowledge it's going to be noisy. And those who support this field say, just deal with it. They have a right to complain. That's fine. But these guys out here fly and give them that right. Larry Ford is a retired Navy vet. He says the aircraft carrier pilots have to train somewhere, and that's why they come to Whitney. There's no other place in the state they can do that. This, this is uh, configured for the tail hook community. In the meantime, the Monsons promise the Navy will have no peace until they get some of their own. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.